The S1B class had 25 1/2 x 32-inch cylinders and developed a tractive effort of 61,570 pounds. Their trailing truck, which was not equipped with a booster engine, supported a firebox with 101 square feet of great area. This, combined with an evaporative heating surface of 4,819 square feet and 1,975 square feet of superheating surface, produced a maximum drawbar horsepower of 5,070 at 62.5 miles per hour, the equivalent at the time of four diesel units. To remain within the Central's more restrictive clearances and still accommodate a boiler diameter great enough for this level of output, the Niagara's had no steam dome but used a dry pipe running the length of the boiler. Total weight of locomotive and tender was 891,000 pounds. By around 1950 these 4-8-4S were removed from service on the New York Central's eastern lines. Number 6020 was one of the last handful of Niagara's in service, being retired in 1956 after only 10 years of operation. The NYC had 4-8-2s called Mohawks named after a river, and 4-6-4s called Hudson's named after another river. It completed its passenger mode of fleet, with the new 4-8-4-S, which it called Niagara's, after a third New York river. On delivery, the S-1B fleet was immediately placed into service on the NYC's premier trains, including the 20th Century Limited the Empire State Express, the Chicagoan, and the Commodore Vanderbilt over the four-track main between Harmon, New York and Chicago. The 4-8-4s were capable of almost any preferred assignment, and exceeded all design expectations. The Niagara's were also used in fast freight service, such as the famed pacemaker trains, when they could be spared from the great steel fleet. It was discovered that the huge boiler could generate steam faster than it could be used by the machinery. The experimental S2A, with its poppet valves in the cylinders, operating much like the valves in an automobile engine, proved even more efficient, and if steam development had continued, the S1A and S1Bs would probably have received this improvement. Other modern 4-8-4s may have exceeded the S1Bs in the categories of weight and tractive effort, but it is doubtful that any exceeded this ultimate example of locomotive building in terms of steam generation, horsepower, speed and ability. A new boiler design eliminated the steam dome and allowed the boiler size to be increased to the very limits of the NYC loading gauge. The boiler was so large that the sandbox had to be recessed into the boiler top, and the stack was unusually short. The air reservoirs were cast into the massive frame, the turbo generator had to be located below the enormous firebox, and the bell was located on the pilot beam. The standard NYC appearance was altered with the use of an unusual smoke box front, and a headlight placed above the boiler center line. These new 4-8-4s were also equipped huge PT tenders with a 4-10-0 centipede will arrangement. Unfortunately, EMD F7 passenger diesels were being delivered at the same time as the 4-8-4s. The easier servicing and quick turnaround of the F7s made them more economical and efficient. As additional diesels were purchased, the 4-8-4s were bumped from the preferred assignments, and by 1950 all were used for lesser duties. The NYC dieselized their easternmost divisions first, and by 1953 all of the remaining 4-8-4s were pushed into Ohio and Indiana, where they saw some passenger service, but were primarily used for freight duties. Their great weight restricted them to a few routes on the former Big Four lines. The 4-8-4s were not really suitable for low-speed duties, but they soldiered on until 1955 to 1956, when their equipment trusts expired, and the road completely dieselized. Unfortunately, no examples of this magnificent locomotive were preserved and all were scrapped. This is especially disappointing because these 4-8-4s were head and shoulders above any other northern in the areas of boiler and drawbar horsepower. They were also better than any steam locomotive in the areas of weight per HP, availability, monthly and annual mileage, and total life cycle cost.